NCAA Women's Championship presented by Capital One. Tonight, the final game of the season at Gamble Pavilion and a spot in the Sweet 16 is up for grabs. Number one overall seed, Connecticut, gets set to take on an in-state foe in ninth seeded Quinnipiac. It'll be Williams and Paula Stratmane for the tip. And the winner to the Sweet 16. Winning this game. And really nobody going to the offensive glass for Quinnipiac either, as you pointed out during shoot-around. Collier has the first four for UConn. Danger field to Williams. Defenders, they're not either, so that's a huge challenge. Samuelson's open. Double on Samuelson. Kia Nurse. Five on the shot clock. Gabby Williams with the block on Faye. He wants to make UConn play in the half court. Not that they can't be successful in the half court, but they're more of a problem in transition. Lafisa Collier. The advantage that they have with Collier and Williams is something we'll see a lot of tonight. Kia Nurse got into the passing lane. Two on one. McClure. Blocked by Samuelson. What a play on defense. Collier. Saturday scored 26 points, a season high, and had 10 rebounds as well. And she wants it. She got the position in the bucket. There's Dangerfield. Back to Nurse. For three. As a Ray Stevens battling to the bucket in stores. UConn with an eight point lead. UConn with an 11 point lead. It is hard not to love what Edel Thornton has done in the last three games. Stevens with a great seal and finish. First turnover of this second quarter for the Bobcats. Nice late dump off by Collier to Stevens. That's an advantage that Kara's been talking about all night. More of it on display there with two blocks. Shot blocking team in the American Conference this year. Well, 6'6 and athletic and has the ability to move. It was still in high school at this point, but Fairfield had the win in 83 against UConn. That was before. Nurse sets up Dangerfield. Samuelson. Boy, that is a pro level shot. Collier to Nurse. A three. 15 made field goals. Let's take you back to the last possession. I want you to look at Kia Nurse in the corner. Open because of all the players that Quinnipiac is putting on in the paint. You can hear her scream to Nafisa Collier that she's open. She slides up a couple steps, but what I love about that play is Nafisa Collier. She doesn't let her teammate talk her into a turnover. She stays patient and understands that when she spins back, that's going to create the alley to get the, to get the open shot. It's just a great offensive play by the Huskies. She wants to be down the line. She's all right with having that door open, but she switched from coach to mom very quickly as Nafisa Collier hits a long two. Defense in traffic. Faye misses the three. Ooh, nice dish. Samuelson. State in Tallahassee. Those are two MAC teams, yep. two Mid American Conference teams. That's right. Getting it done. Okay, down the entire game with Connecticut. And in this game, Quinnipiac chose to try and limit possessions as much as possible. And she's center being shorter than a couple of her teammates that she starts alongside. 5'11". Yeah. She's taking the jump ball instead of a person like Nafisa Collier. 
Williams taps it out. Saved by Collier to Walker. It all came from the Gabby Williams athleticism. And she'll get the assist to Collier. This Quinnipiac program has made over the last couple seasons. Win their first two tournament games a season ago. Win their third game this year. Back with the players and she's in elementary school and middle school. 19 years of her life yeah. built into this program. Absolutely. What a run for Quinnipiac. Their season comes to a close. And for the Yukon Huskies, a quarter century of consistency. They're on their way to a 25th consecutive Sweet 16 appearance.